guys, it's Katie and welcome to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a top 10 Tuesday. I thought I'd upload this really quickly by filming this on my phone for you guys. And so I hope that the quality isn't going to affect too much, but I just wanted to get it up like really, really quickly. So in today's video, it's going to be top 10 2016 releases that we didn't get around to reading but we would really really like to so these are like 2016 releases that i sort of like purchased in the year of 2016 um most of which like i suppose i purchased towards the end of 2016 so i had a little rummage through like my boxes of books to find some 2016 books so these are in no particular order these are just random 10 books that i found and obviously because i purchased them i was interested in reading them and I definitely still am so let's get started the first book that I'm going to share with you is Stealing Snow by Daniel Page I've heard really really good things about this book and that it's just like a really sort of interesting fantasy sort of series it's like a first book that's in, gonna, gonna be a new series and yeah super excited about this one and then I've got The Sun Is Also A Star by Nicola Yu. Now I read her first book, Everything Everything, and I really, really loved it. I fell in love with it. So with her with her new and latest book, I've yet to give it a read. And the cover is just absolutely gorgeous in this one. And then we have Thicker Than Water by Bridget Kamara. And I didn't actually believe that this came out in 2016. But in the front, like I was just checking the front pages and it says like copyright 2016. So completely did not realise that. So yeah, I'm super excited about this one as that is a release that I got from like my Christmas haul. Then I got The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. And this is meant to be kind of like Gossip Girl, but in like the future or something something like that and I love Gossip Girl so that's why I kind of got this so yeah definitely interesting and different and I look forward to that one and then we got Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow and I've heard that this is quite a touching sort of contemporary um it's actually oh it's really heavy I think it's just like how the cover is made but yeah like sounds interesting and then I've got Girl Heart Girl by Lucy Sutcliffe. Now, all uh, like LGBT books in 2016 had like a big sort of buzz, and so this was like one of the books. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested in giving this one a read. And then I've got Nothing More by Anna Todd, which is the author of the series After. And I read that book and I really enjoyed it. So this is the first in like a new series by her. She's a Wattpad sensation author as well. And so I was like, mm, okay, let's see what this book is about. I don't actually have a clue. I kind of want to go into it a little bit blind. So yeah, excited about that. And then we've had this really sort of emotional book that everybody just keeps telling me about and I don't know why I'm holding it off because I should really read it. In the end I purchased it and it's Paper Butterflies by Lisa Heathfield and I've actually met this author, she's really really lovely and she does have another book that is called Seed, it's right there and her cover is absolutely beautiful and gorgeous but this one I've heard it just like literally just tears at your heartstrings and so... That's why I got it in the end, but yours have like too many recommendations. Then we got the latest Colin Hoover book, and uh, this she self published, and this is too late. So I wanted to get the physical copy of this because I absolutely phenomenally love this author. Um, so obviously, they do do an ebook version as well through Amazon, and you can get that yourself as well. But I love her books, so. I had to get the physical copy to keep my collection. The final book that is going to be in this video is Something In Between by Melissa De La Cruz. This is her latest novel. And it's it's about um like this girl and it's because like her parents are like immigrants and so it's just kind of like interesting and it's different because of that sort of thing. So yeah. Uh, and this I got like near towards the end of last year as well. So guys, those are the 10 books that are 2016 releases that I purchased 
and the majority of them I purchased like quite near towards the end. Some of them were in my like 2016 Christmas book haul. Um, so I do intend to read them. Um, since like viewing them again, um, I've realised like how much I do want to read them. So I'm hoping that I can get to reading some of them this year. But then don't forget I own like over a thousand books. So anything is possible. Um, but yeah, I definitely do want to read them. Um, and I'm super excited. So if you guys have read any of the books that I've mentioned in today's top 10 video, then let me know down below in the comments. And I'm going to try and do as many of these top 10 and maybe top 5 Wednesday videos as much as I can. I just want to get back into doing these sort of like weekly topic videos. So yeah, that's just really all for today's video. And let me know 10 books in 2016 that were like released that you definitely want to get to either this year or the next year but soon at some point that's all for me today guys so keep smiling keep reading and be happy thank you very much for watching my video and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye <laughs>